so guys this is another day in the life this is the day before i leave to cameroon so today is monday i'm leaving tomorrow tuesday so as you can see in the back i have i had my stuff in the storage and i just came to pick it up because i have to ship it to cameroon um the last few days have been super busy like i haven't had much time to sleep haven't had much time to really like breathe and i've been eating super late at night because i don't have time to eat during the day chippy all day at least i have this is gonna be my last chai chi latte from starbucks and i'm sweating but i don't want to put the ac because it's gonna make some noise um another thing that i wanted to say is that my the last couple of weeks okay that's a bit too noisy and I have this, guys, I don't even know why I always break out in the, like, the weird places. So the last couple of days, I mean, the last couple of weeks have been busy. I think if there's one word I can describe my seven weeks in the U.S. is busy. So that's really the word I could best describe how I've been spending my time here. Of course, I've had days where I was just chilling, but most of the days, most of the days I was basically just swamped with work, with everything. So um, today I have quite a bit of things to do. The first thing that I would do is basically go to the warehouse to drop off my things so that they can be shipped to Cameroon. Then I need to go to the bank. Then after that, um, I need to go print out my COVID test, right? Then, guys, I have a list on my phone of all the things that I have to do. But one thing that I really love, even though I'm busy going up and down, one thing that I love about my stay here was the fact that I met amazing people, people that I can work with. Um, I've had new clients. Um, I'm in the process of signing or finalizing some contracts, right? I have to send some proposals, but I mean, when I get back home, I have to send some proposals. Another thing that I've been enjoying here is the food. I love eating out. I can cook, but I didn't really have much time to cook when I was living here. I was working a lot. I was working outside, I had my professional job, and then I had my businesses right so i never really had that much time to cook but one thing that i love is eating out in different places oh gosh like the food the food the food the food let me just show you just a little bit of what i'm talking about so that you guys can see the type of food that i love eating here in houston texas and everywhere else basically I think in terms of work, I didn't expect to have the workload that I had coming in the US. I was expecting to meet some clients. I don't think I understood the assignment, you know, like God assignment for me in the US. Um, it actually led me to, to doing things, administrative things faster to make sure the company is actually ready to take on contracts. There are so many things that, you know, I had planned to do when I was coming here in the U.S. But there are also so many things that I did not expect. And in a good way, right? I was able to travel to different places. I was able to meet new clients. I was able to, you know, work for some clients. And I was also able to meet amazing, amazing companies that, you know, want to partner so that we can work together on some projects in the near future. So super duper excited. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful. Guys, I have to get going because I'm running late on my schedule, but I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to talk to you. This is gonna be my last video that I'm gonna do here. And maybe I'm gonna show you the footage tomorrow when I actually fly. So I hope you guys are doing good. I still need to go last minute shopping. Because my mom made sure that I didn't forget some things that she wanted. So, you know how it is.
<laughs> You're leaving again. I know. International flight. Okay, perfect. Right. So, guys, I'm finally at the airport. Look at all the people. It's crazy. Hi.